Hello, my name is Johannes Dizoglu and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply a button on your form. By opening the actual form, I'm going to select the design tab and then I'm going to select the button option. By click and drag in, I'm going to draw a button above the save uh, section, design, and then I'm going to select record operations. From the record, record operations list, I'm going to select Save Record and then click Next. Now I'm going to select the text option and I'm going to remove the text by selecting Backspace. Then I'm going to click Next. I'm going to save this button as CMD underscore save underscore stock underscore form. This will allow me to understand uh, what is the purpose of this button later on. So I'm going to now click finished. Finally, I'm going to have to go to the product with the button selected. I'm going to have to go to the properties panel. If you will not be able to see the properties panel, it's just just click uh, the properties tab here. Then I'm going to scroll down to the back style and change it from normal to transparent. Now I have my first button added, applied on, on my phone. Now I'm going to select another button by clicking and dragging. I'm go this time, because this will be the print button, I'm going to select record operation again and select print record. I'm going to click next. I'm going to remove the text. Make sure the text option is selected. Click next and this time I'm going to call it cmd underscore print underscore stock underscore for so, so this is the command button this command button will print this command button belongs to the stock table and actually is play, displayed on the form I'm, I'm going now to select finished and again, I'm going to go to the pro with a button selected. I'm going to go to the properties panel and set the back style to transparent. Then I'm going to follow the same steps to do the close button. So I'm going to select the button by clicking and dragging. I'm going to draw a button. This time I want to actually use a form operation. I'm going to select the form operation, and this form operation is going to close the form. I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to select the text option again. I'm going to highlight and backspace to delete the text. I'm going to click next. Now I'm going to name this button as CMD underscore close underscore stock underscore form. And again, this command button is a close command button and belongs to the stock form finished. I'm going now to the properties menu, select for back style transparent and I have my three buttons here. So I've got two more buttons here that I need to uh, activate. I'm going to apply one more button here and the, the settings will be record navigation. These two buttons will allow me to navigate throughout the forms. So record navigation and I'm going it's going to take me to the next record so click next I'm going to select text remove the text by selecting the backspace on the keyboard click next again now this operations is command button CMD sorry underscore uh, this will be next underscore stock underscore four so this command line, command button, sorry, it's going to be for the next button and belongs to the stock form. Finished. Back style, set it to transparent. And finally, I'm going to add one more button. And again, will be record navigation, but this time it's going to be previous record. I'm going to select next. Text, I'm going to remove the text. I'm going to click next. I'm going to name it as cmd underscore back underscore 
stock underscore four. So this command button will take me back one step so and belongs to the stock form. Finished. Finally I'm gonna have to select uh, for back style transparent and now we'll be able to test my form by selecting the form view. So I have uh, the save button so if I select uh, here and put uh, instead of pen pens I'm gonna click save okay I'm gonna click uh, the next button okay this gives me the ID number two which is red pen so if I go back I'm gonna be able to see the black pens uh, this is because I've changed that to S uh, if I would like to print this record I'm gonna select the print button this will generate uh, the print window so if I click OK it's gonna print so in this case I'm gonna cancel this finally once I finish using the form I can actually close the form by cl pressing close. The form now is closing. Would you like to save the f changes on the form? Yes. The reason why the program asked me if I would like to save the, the changes, this is because I've actually developed all the buttons. So now I have closed the form and I'm going to reopen it. I will never be asked again if I would like to save the form. So if I change, uh, say for instance, the price to uh, 70 pence, select save, I'm going to click next. So this is the red pence, there's still 60 pence. So let's go back and check the black pence. Uh, this is 70p. That's good, remember that. I'm going to now select close again and the form is now closed. This is how you apply buttons onto your form. Thank you for watching.